All right. All right, I'll give a mid ether to Luca here, so they can keep doing fire tackle to this guy. Boom! That is so much damage. I love it. Ouch! Hurt Robo a lot. Can really hurt the other two. Take this. Hey, now I'm gonna use a stupid lapis item. Where is it? Boom! Big damage. Go, Golem Boss! Oh! 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 Uh oh! And that's it for Dalton! <laughs> Easiest fucking boss ever! How funny is that? <laughs> Can't wheeze. Is Epic okay? Success! More importantly, did he change the controls? What's that lever for? Marl, please press the Y button! Whoa! <laughs> Oops! Try the X button. We're going down. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, justice. Dalton got what he deserved. Whoa, that ship can fly. Ha ha. That's right. Phew, now I get it. We were lucky. We had pressed the wrong control devices. We needed a remodel anyway. Chrono. Marl. If Epic is intact, I'm sure that Chrono is too. Aha! Chrono's got to be here somewhere. I'll find him. Oop, oop, oop. The Guru of Time gave me this sapling, but is there any place for it in this desolate world? What should I do? Plant it with hope. Alright, I'll take good care of it. Who knows? Maybe someday it will save our environment. Because I told her that, it opens up a side quest, if you can believe it. Just because I told her that. We're slowly recovering. We've got to start from scratch. Crap, where's that vendor? Is there still anything else? Bye. Oh, look at this! He has all new equipment now. Thing is, we already found all these. Ah! Well, here's a huge hint. Look what he's selling. The Hurricane Sickle. Well, who uses a sickle? None of us. What a, what a freaking spoiler that is. Aeon suit's so fucking good. Wish he would move. I think he does eventually. He, like, moves aside. Yeah, there he goes. See? A magic tab. There we go. Once you buy something, he moves. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Sell those misdrobes. <clears throat> now 
I can buy the Hurricane Sickle, and I can buy one Aeon Helm. Okay. Chrono's gotta be somewhere. I'll find him. What the hell? Oh, that's right. We gotta go over here. The North Cape. What's this? Ha ha! So it's you. Magus. Behold, everything at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. Hmm, dimensional warp? The power is beyond human control. No, we'll be dragged into the warp. Shala! No, Janice, stay away. But... Whoa. It's, it's a... A time gate? No! Shishala! Janice! Aha! Melchior ended up in 1000. There you go. What's his name? Ended up in the future. And this guy, Guru Gaspar. This is. Hey. Nothing here. This must be the end of time. Look at that. And Janice showed up with Ozzy in 600 AD. You're Janice, aren't you? Ever since Lavos' time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I've waited to even the score. You interrupted me just when I had summoned Lavos to my castle. How ironic that, having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up in this age. Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was a mighty oracle. But no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dares to oppose it meets certain doom. At this rate, you too will meet a hideous fate. Just like that poor fool Chrono. How dare you! It's because of you that Chrono's gone! He's history. Play with fire and you get burned. What an arrogant pig! You wish to fight me? And here's the key. You can fight him once here for an epic boss fight, or you can say no. Here's what happens. If you beat him, pretty much nothing happens. I think you get an item or something. If you say no, something cooler happens. Even if we defeat you, it won't bring Chrono back. Wait. I'll come with you. Say what? No. There just might be a way to bring him back. Y you're joking. Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. Aha! Magus joins the party. That's right. The major villain from the first half of the game ends up becoming a major character. And a lot of people just fight him there on the cliff and never knew that you could actually play as him. So they pretty much ruined uh, ruined their chances of, of having a new character, which is awesome. Look at him. He's badass, man. The Raven Armor and the Amulet. Invokes the Triple Tech Dark Eternal. That's for him, that's right. That black rock that we found is actually for him. 
I think there's one or two others too. He has to learn it. Uh, he's cool though. Look at it. he gets all the level two uh, things, and then he gets even more cool techs. Look, he floats. He motherfucking floats. How bad heck is that? Yeah, there's a white rock and a green rock you can also find. That is correct. What's that? We're getting some interference from an enormous gate. It can't be. Lavos? That's... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, the Ocean Palace turns into a fucking ship. I think they're calling us. It feels like we're gonna get sucked in there. The Undersea Palace? This is impossible. Well, that's the next dungeon. The end of time. Now this is cool, you go to the end of time in this thing, watch this. Watch this. Hey, where's that healthy kid with the radical haircut? Hmm. This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called... Memories of Chrono. I wish I could lend a hand. We're looking for the Guru of Time. The Guru of Time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? He knows how to bring Chrono back. To bring back lost loved ones. It's what everyone wants. Chrono must be proud. To have friends like you. Alright, well... What we've basically done is, now we've opened up all the side questing in the game, okay? There's a multiple side quests to be found, and we've opened up that dungeon, the floating dungeon, and I believe once you beat that dungeon, after that you can save Chrono. So, very good. The Time Egg, right, that's the next part, to save Chrono. Alright, very cool.